how are you guys doing? Today I'll be showing you how to make very easy, very delicious, fluffy, gluten-free vegan pancakes. Um, and to make them gluten-free, I just used oat flour instead of the conventional whole wheat flour, cake flour that we'll use. And I made that by blending it up. And I'm going to show you how to do that here, just in case you don't quite understand what I mean by that. I put in way more um, oats than I actually needed just so that I wouldn't have to do this again when I needed it for later. So the great thing about this is you can make it in a batch for yourself by buying oats, then blending up the oats and then using that and voila, you have oat flour, gluten free flour. And I just blended that up until it was fine. I put it on to liquefy to make it more finer and also blending it longer will help just in case you might not have that setting. And if you don't have a blender, it's okay. You don't have to make them gluten free. Um, well, if you don't have celiac disease, um, you can just use oats on their own. I just think making it finer helps it to be fluffier and not as like dense as oats would otherwise make them if they're not as fine as I'm making them now. You can just stop it halfway and then to ensure that you know pieces and then blend it again. You know, it's up to you how fine you're gonna make it, but the finer, the better. It's up to you. It's your life, man. Live it the way you wanna live it, man. <laughs> oh, and I'm shaking it around to ensure that the oats that come up the, the sides of the blender can also be blended as well, because we wanna blend up everything. We don't discriminate, you know? Everyone is equal. And that's how it looks, the final product, nice and flowery. Next, I used two bananas for this, but I didn't use the whole two bananas. I used about one and a half, and I say a half in inverted commas, it's not really a half, it's more like one and two thirds, um, depending on how sweet you want them to be. These bananas are not that sweet, but they will do. As you can see, the mashing was not that easy because they were not as ripe as I'd like them to be. But I was really craving, um, banana pancakes that day so I decided to use up the bananas and I just smashed them with a fork like so mash 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 after that I added three quarter cups of oat flour that we blended and I mixed that in a little bit just to honestly I didn't have to mix it in first I could have just added everything else but it's fine I mixed it in a little bit just to incorporate it and then I added a quarter cup of oats for texture um, you could just use oat flour on its own and not oats I just wanted the texture as well I added a pinch of salt then I added um, baking powder I used the snowflake brand I was just showing you guys there I used a teaspoon of that then I used half a cup of soy milk I ended up using more than half a cup but for now I used half a cup um, generally, I would say use half a cup and then whether you add more to that, it depends on how runny you want it to be. I also added a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to the half a cup of milk and I let it stand. I actually added more than that because I had like a little bit left over and I didn't want to leave a lonely drop of apple cider vinegar in the bottle. This will help to curdle the milk and will make it thicker, more like buttermilk and will help the pancakes be fluffier since the apple cider vinegar will react with the um, baking powder and then it'll make them rise even more. To that I also added a teaspoon of cinnamon. Well more than a teaspoon because I like cinnamon but round about a teaspoon. We'll just say a teaspoon for, for measure. And then I added, this is optional, but I also okay. added some almond butter. I use this butternut brand. Um, you don't have to add this like I said. Um, but I just wanted to add it for some healthy fats. Alternatively, I used almond butter or you can use peanut butter or you can use coconut oil as well. I like using coconut oil um, or you can leave it out and not add any fats at all. It's up to you. After the soy milk had sat a bit with the apple cider vinegar, you can see how thick it is. You can see I'm showing you the texture there. It's like clumpy and lumpy, but it's supposed to be like that because of the curdling that the apple cider does. Then I mix that in to my dry, well it wasn't really a dry mixture, but I mix that in and I mix, 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 mix. And this is optional, again there are a lot of optional steps here, but I added about a teaspoon 
um, to a tablespoon of desiccated coconut for flavor because I usually use um, coconut oil but since I didn't have coconut oil with me I still wanted the coconut flavor so I added desiccated coconut for that. Oh and I completely forgot but I also added a teaspoon of vanilla essence. I just forgot to show you. I did it after because I forgot to do that and then I mixed it in. So that's after it's mixed in. So yeah. Next, heat up about a tablespoon of oil in a nonstick pan and ensure it's evenly distributed before you fry spoonfuls of batter. You'll put them on the pan, um, about a tablespoon for each of the spoonfuls and you'll fry that batter for about three minutes on one side, usually I'd say two minutes, but since you're using oat flour and um, it'll need longer to cook, um, we'd say three to four minutes on each side. Um, just ensure that your fire is not too high so they can cook properly and they don't burn. And then you wait until the batter starts to make holes. As you can see, the holes are forming nicely. I gave you a nice zoom in there. And then after that, when there are enough holes, um, enough holes as in enough, enough, I'm sure you know what enough are, then you will flip them around carefully, carefully flip them around. And they should pop up and be amazing. I said carefully, but this is why I say carefully. See, this was not carefully. <laughs> That's not what you should do. I was just showing you guys what you shouldn't do. Um, yeah, so that's still a bird. And you just cook them on the other side for another two to three minutes. This always happens. It's your first one, um, or rather it's part of the first group of um, pancakes that I'm making, or flapjacks rather, that I'm making. So I expected this, really, I did. Another pro tip is if you've made too much batter and you're not going to finish the pancakes or you're not making for a lot of people and you don't want to have to freeze them or whatever, you could um, put this in the fridge just to ensure it's tightly um, closed in an airtight container or with cling wrap or something just to ensure it's covered and then you can use this. It keeps in the fridge for about two to three days so you can keep it in the fridge and then use it up later on when you feel like having wonderful, delicious banana gluten free flapjacks again and ah uh, the joys of making pancakes even if the first one is messed up it doesn't mean you can't eat it even if it looks funny it's not about the outside guys it's about the inside and then you're basically just going to repeat this process over and over um ensuring that each time you remove your next batch you ensure that your pan isn't too dry and is a little bit greased before you put on your next batch so that it doesn't stick to the pan Wow, look at that hole it already formed. You see, the apple cider vinegar is really working well with the baking powder that makes it cook faster as well because it forms the bubbles faster than it otherwise would with oat flour compared to whole wheat um, cake flour. Carefully, careful, carefully. Careful, uh huh, nice save, nice save. Carefully, careful, C A R E F U L. Love it. And finally, we got to serve. I had the third of the banana, remember the third? Yeah, that one. I sliced it up and I'm using it now for. Um, the topping of the flapjacks as a topping and this just made it look prettier and also helps to add more sweetness as well and so that I can have something fresh and you know fresh fresh fruit <laughs> on top um, you could have this with butter you could have it with honey you could have it with maple syrup um, for those of you that eat honey or the things that I'm mentioning you could also make your own um, syrup if you want that's a lot of admin so I didn't do that I really enjoyed them like this and you could also have them with jam we had strawberry jam um, that I ended up eating some of them with later on I didn't finish this whole stack because 
this was a lot and it was very filling it was a very filling but as you can see i'm having it with some butter and yeah i'm using the delight butter from my last video i think i did show you what it looks like and because i was so hungry i had two sausages i only ended up having one I also had that with a side of grapes as a palate cleanser and I ate those up and I really enjoyed it. I didn't finish it, that's how filling it was. I enjoyed it while doing some work. Here is just a close up of what they look like in their layer. These pancakes were really delicious. Look at that. I keep saying pancakes, I meant flapjacks. This is the close up of the flapjacks. They were very delicious guys, you can try them at home, they're very easy. If you're too scared to go out and buy yourself some fruit flour, you can use your own, I got you. And also because they're delicious and healthy and tasty and easy. So please try these out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye bye, see you next time.